Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. Today is the 22nd of January. This is Craig. He's a subscriber from Minnesota. Came out all the way down here in January to catch alligator gar. That's really tough to do. So that's what we're out here trying to do. Hopefully we can get some other fish too. It is like a high of 70 degrees today. Can you believe that it was 38 yesterday? I went fishing with a, a woman named Denise. That It was fun didn't catch anything it was 38 degrees when I left the house yesterday morning to go fish by st. John and it's 70 today flip-flop crazy crazy so this is 40 R pit out here in Chalmette we're on the back part of Bayou B Avenue there is some activity water is really dirty there's a lot of wind predicted for today but I'm out of it where I'm standing so we're going to try our best to get a gar a cat black drum something anything even if it's a little tiny guppy we're gonna catch fish today come on let's tell you how we're doing that this time of year I find that gar feed on what's around more often than what they feed on any other time of year so what's around right now are sunfish this is a little warmth if there were a lot of mullet here I would test I would say mullet would be the thing to do but i do not see a lot of mullet up in here all right so i got my bait on it's kind of soft we're going to get fresh bait later but as you can see i'm not using steel leader this is 50 pound mono and the reason why i chose to use 50 pound mono is because i'm under really bad conditions for catching gar so if a gar does come and pick this up i don't want any reason out there for that gar to turn it down and i think having a stiff wire leader would possibly do that i've caught plenty of big alligator gar with just 50 pound mono i've caught them with 20 pound mono if i do start to have a lot of action and i have cutoffs from their teeth on this i am prepared to go back to steel leader but for now i'm going to try my best to not spook a fish therefore i'm fishing with a sinker slide i never can remember what these are called i want to call them lead trolleys whatever but this is what what it is it is a sinker slide now this is by team catfish and i'm using a pyramid lead today to keep me stuck down in case i do have current i do have wind today all right i'm gonna put this out back here behind this pumping station we have a bit of a deep hole so this water should be warmer All right, so we're set up. We have our drag loose so the gar can run with it. Oh, I just saw one top the water, but it was a spotted gar. So that's good. I mean, we're after alligator gar today, but if homeboy can get a spotted gar. Be happy with that. You see this on his shirt? He's a musky fisherman from Minnesota, so <laughs> he likes them toothy. Spotted gar are toothy. Spotted gar seem to like colder water more than alligator gar i've encountered a uh, active spotted gar different places already this year yeah it's not like musky fishermen you know how to uh yeah you set the hook and you <laughs> and you're good to go <laughs> yeah. as long as he he comes for the bait right so yeah when you're gar fishing the gar is going to just pick up the bait and their mouths are hard so it's hard to hook okay. but th that hook could be outside their mouth and they're just holding on to the bait barely if you try to set the hook the gar could get pissed like in warmer water this is what they're going to do they're going to get pissed they're going to hold on and they're going to fight you as soon as they get right there they're just going to basically go hey and let go and leave okay so you want them to swim with it for a bit and get to know the bait maybe a minute maybe okay. two minutes sometimes sometimes when you're fishing in the bottom for them uh they they get hooked up faster okay because you know you're higher than them you have more momentum but okay. today they might they might be slow they might be ultra slow once they they get on the line and they're probably going to come in like a wet blanket alligator gar will okay all right while i'm waiting for my bite alarms to sing we are going to try and get fresh bait we're going to drop shot night crawlers on a size six aberdeen 
just little pieces of worm. I was kind of scouting around the area, came into this thicket. Look at this huge tire. Some, there's a shopping cart over here. Somebody was shopping. Let's get out of here and find Craig. Might be hard to catch some fresh bait in this chocolate field. I don't have a cast net. Not right now. Let's see what we can do with the bait we have. Oh yeah. Come on, just run with it. I'm I'm slowly tightening the drag a little bit. This might not be a gar. There's a lot of spotted gar here. Look, he's picking up the line a little bit. Also got wind on the line. He may have he may have gone. I'm I'm checking the bait, but I've got something here. Here. I'm not sure if this is a fish or a bunch of weed. You you give it a go. You see what that is. It's not fighting, is it? No. Maybe you're bringing in a bowl of salad. <laughs> That's probably more likely it. Oh no, oh, no you got a fish! <laughs> Oh! Oh, it just right there. Came off, huh? It, it spit it, yeah. What did it look like? I didn't um, get to see. I didn't even get to see. That was basically what you said <laughs> they do. Yeah, they, they come right in and let go. All right, so we're back, back in business. We got some bait here. Honestly, I thought I was bringing in something like grass and so did he and then we felt the, the fish. It was like a wet blanket. That's decent enough. It seemed to be feeding anywhere from 30 to 60 feet out. All right, we got some action and we're not getting any beefs because we got a total slack line on this left rod. I'm gonna get it off the indicator this is not from wind or anything of that nature. I'm just gonna kind of roll up the slack and put it back down. And just sit back and watch and see what's up. Going slack again. Can you reel it up? Just let it's it, going out again. it's going tight again. Start tightening up your drag a little bit. Oh, tip bounced. Back in. Yeah, more slack now. Let's see if we can reel that up a little bit. That's good. Our bank stick is getting knocked or skewed. Yeah, I see that. We'll let him have it for just a tad longer. And more slack. He's coming in with it. It's not much of a run, but he's hanging with it. Seriously. Look, he's still coming in. I'm reeling up and he's giving me line. We could try to set the hook, but make sure you have a, a fairly tight drag. Yeah, okay. Can we do that now then or we're gonna wait? Just give it a second. Yeah, pick up the rod and get the line tight and feel the fish. Okay. Make sure you have your drag set good. Because he's bouncing the tip. Make sure that you don't have any bows from the wind. Try to set that hook. It's, there's hardly anything there. See if he's there. He he might be there still. He, he might have you picked up. I, I'm, uh, 
Remember, it's a slip weight, so. Yeah. Um, there's the, oh. You feel them? There you go. There's a fish, too. Here's a net. Hopefully, we've got a good hook up here. little spot oh he's got a fat belly we got gotta sit nice and he's in the net look at the belly here we go look at the belly on this baby that is a fat spotted gar man that's a pretty fat one Woo! yeah here you go you can get him up a little higher that's your first spotted gar that we see its belly yeah here we go that's nice. A pretty bad little guy. Good job, Craig. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, now we're going to do a release. There he goes. Awesome. Hey, look where we're at. Back in the car. Yeah, one fish day, but gar in January. That's pretty awesome. It seems like spotted gar tend to be pretty active in January opposed to alligator gar it's going to be a while before they're active it's just the water's not hot enough they don't like cold water at all but you got your first gar That's he right. wanted a, he wanted an alligator gar right but a gar is a gar had teeth it was it was fun so first new species for spotted gar missed a few fish it was a good day yeah you're right yeah you're right yeah you're right well I'm, I'm ready to go. It's uh, cooling off. The bite just died the cooler it got. It was more of a solar noon bite. So if you liked the video, give us a good thumbs up. You know, share it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you want to help out the channel, there's a link down in the description to do that. See you next time.